All right, this time we're going to fly the Dragonfly, which is like the Hobby King Skipper. That's this one right here. And it uses a 1300, and it's a three cell, 1300 milliamp hour three cell. Put the battery strap on it. I don't think that would fall out of there anyway, but just be on the safe side. All right. Looks like Barney's going to fly the Hobby King Skipper. No, Sean, you get a chance. Run that field. That's my idea. All right, there's the Hobby King Skipper, and here's the Dragonfly. Same body. Oh, radio on, yeah, radio on. My rudder isn't down in the water very much. I like that old thing. Ready? I can feel that wind. Look at Going around good. Hey, you, Barney. You trying to clip me? <laughs> All right. See if we can get it to glide in. There it goes. Oh, Kerpala. Ooh. Oh. 
Ooh, no, oh, kerplop. It might still work though. Well, I was having trouble with my ailerons. It didn't want to turn. But I'll just I'll just say it was pilot error. I don't know if I got into a stall or what. Bring it in here and see if I can. Looks all right, considering it took a dunk. Thank you. Down, at least. <laughs> yeah, that was a trick. Oh, boy. <laughs> Talk about Facebook. Oh, yeah, the Facebook. They're crazy. They're blocking me on a lot of stuff. Won't let me post stuff. Oh, yeah, mine too. Everything okay with it? Yeah, let's look at it. It went, it went straight in. Boom. Well, let's see what it did. Of course, I flew it after I dumped it. I don't see. Oh, well, there's a little, a little bit of water in there. A little yeah. bit of water right there for the audience to look at. There we go. I took a dunk. Oh, did you? I was coming around that turn and all of a sudden I just blew. And, uh, but it flew afterwards. Popped back up. I love the color coming out. Oh, I do too. There's a big difference in it. Yeah. If that had been on land, though, it would have been toast. Oh, that'd have been nice. <laughs> been pieces. It's a wonder as shallow as this is that it gets stuck in the bottom. I know it. Now, don't see any mud on the nose. So you said you coated yours? No, no. I, I said that the the Polaris. See, I had to move the battery up here. Yeah. Because you had it back here because you had all your FPV stuff. So yeah, I, I just cut all this off and had to redo everything. Move the ESC up here. Make some longer wires for the motor and stuff. Oh, yeah, that ain't. I, all I've done with this is I took the servos and the receiver and the ESC and everything, sprayed it all with that corrosion X stuff. Yeah. And that's sort of what I did to water. But I flew it in the rain a bunch of times. It don't get no water inside it anyway. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's pretty much waterproof. Yeah, I flew it in the rain, pouring down rain up our summer food. Well, this, I mean, that's amazing how it can go underwater like that and only have that little bitty yeah, amount yeah, left. Yeah, a little bit in there. 
Yeah. Well, I better go ahead and unplug it. <clears throat> get you ready, though. Yep. Oh my yeah, God. my cupboard is all right. See, man, it was well on their place. Oh, you flew it? Yeah. I was about to be oh. fine. Yeah, I flew it on there. I know. No sense checking the battery. I know it's not hot. Not nice. Might get a little bit more, I guess. I got that uh, lamination on mine. That one's laminated too, of course, because I made it. I've got some of that stuff I just can't do with your shirt. It's not hard. It's just like ironing a shirt. You sit there and put it on medium, just take your time. And, I couldn't you know, get it to stick good. I don't, haven't had that trouble. And if you put it on there, the uh, decals are really, I mean, like, that's over the decal, so that yeah. decal will never come off. So, Oh, that's done now. Oh, can yeah, I? Yeah, don't sit it down there. It's gonna get dirt no matter where I put it. Uh, 